what is coach style leadership? That's what we're going to talk about today. The pros and the cons of this kind of leadership. My name is Tineke Rensen from Powerful Business Academy. And I help solo entrepreneurs, female business owners, go from self-employed to building a business and become industry leaders. And to be able to do that, you need to become a leader yourself first. And that's why we talk about leadership today. Coach style leadership. Now you all know what a coach is. A coach is someone who asks questions. A coach is someone who has the team come up with the answers or the individual in this case. I'm talking about a coach. I'm not talking about leadership coach yet. And the coach is then someone who holds them accountable. Now, what is coach style leadership in combination with leading a team? Coach style leadership ensures that you have the best out of all your team members and the best out of your team. So we know what a coach does. A coach style leader gets the best of each individual team member. Now, what are the pros of coach style leadership? You build stronger teams. Teams that collaborate better, that trust each other and eventually have a better output. A long lasting output. Your team reaches their full potential. People love to go to their work. They love to support each other. They thrive, which is very important. So many people just do a job. They go to work, they sit there, do their thing and go home. How inspiring is that? Not. So if you're coach style leading, you will create people that thrive. And when your individuals in your team are thriving, it has an effect on all the other team members and it has an effect on the output, for sure. There's also some, some drawback at the cons and it takes a lot of the leader. It takes a, a, a lot of time and effort to monitor the, all these individual processes within the team. Um, but you will be rewarded because in the long run, it does take a longer time, you will have with your team long lasting results. And of course, you will need to have all your team members on board. They need to be engaged. If, so, if someone just does not want to, just has the nine to five mentality and just does his or her thing and then moves off. And I'm not saying, um, the nine to five mentality might not be a good explanation because you can have a lovely job and, and have a great time between nine to five. But the mentality is that you just do your thing and move. That's what I mean, okay? If not the whole team is engaged, it's going to be more difficult. So you might need to replace team members. Now, this is coach style leadership. And I hope you've learned something about how you can evolve from self-employed to being a leader employing people, hiring people, and building your team. And how is this gonna work? Now, first of all, it's important that you work on your personal leadership skills before you can even consider building a business. Because if you're not a leader in your own life, how can you be a leader in your business? So let's talk about that. I offer 15 minute calls. The link is down here in the comments or in the description. Uh, schedule that call with me. I'm looking forward to talk to you to see where can I help you? Where are you at now in your business? Okay? And uh, I'll see you next week for another video. Bye bye.